Hi everyone, and welcome to another Mighty Ginkgo tutorial. My name is Zero, and I'll be your instructor for this lesson. So I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible, because for some reason my computer doesn't seem to like my recording this time. That, and I feel like my mic is a little weird, but eh, sorry. Alright, so now that Mortal Kombat 1 has finally came out, and it's been out for a while, it went on sale, which means that I can finally afford it. <laughs> so now that I have the PC version of 12, I can say, like, I'm, it'll always be Mortal Kombat 12 to me. In fact, even in the local files, they call it Mortal Kombat 12. So it's 12. So now that Mortal Kombat 12 is out, I gotta say that it is way easier to get the assets from this version of the game than it has been in previous versions. Now, it can be because it's on a later version of... Sorry, my husband Scooby-Doo walking in the back trying not to make a sound, but making all the noise in the world. Crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's because it's on the later version of it. Uh, Unreal uh, is working. Now, um, what was I going to say? I included all the files that you're going to need to make this thing work because there's a lot of things that you have to get. Well, actually, no, it was, you need to have a special version of, of uh, Unreal. What was it? Unreal S. I forgot what this is called. Un Unreal Viewer. You need a special version of it. And you need some a special code to break the crypto the encryption encryption. Yeah, you need a code to break the encryption, a special viewer to watch it, and you may need the um plug in so that you can load the models in on Blender. So of all of that I include it here in the description and so you can just download it and then follow along. I guess that's everything. Oh, no, no, no. One more thing before we start. So before we start, I want to say that I don't know how to put the animations or the models back into the game. So like I said before in previous stuff, I just take stuff out. I don't put things back in. So if you need to know how to put it back in or how to make mods, I'm sorry. I'm not that girl. I'm just here to tell you how to take stuff out. And hopefully I won't get hit by Netherrealm and Wonder Brother because, you know, they don't really like these kind of videos. So, with all of that said and my intro gone on far too long, let us begin the tutorial and start getting those assets. The first thing you want to do is to download and or buy Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> 12. And, um, go to the local files. For me... It would be in wherever your Steam stuff is, so Steam, Steam Maps, Comment, and then Mortal Kombat 1. Then you're going to see, even they calling it Mortal Kombat 12. Mm. So you want to open up your Mortal Kombat 12 folder, and then you want to go to Content, and then this folder that says Packs. And you'll see a whole bunch of Packs and all the rest of that jazz here, and you're on the right place. Um, now that you're inside of the Packs folder, you want to go to that... Uh, supply folder that I that I gave you, uh, the resource folder that I gave you. Sorry, it's been a long time since I made a tutorial. I'm a little, a lot of rusty. So you want to open up the folder that I gave you, and you want to ex uh, extract the zips that are here. Sorry, let me try to do this again. You mind if we start over? I'm sorry. So what we want to do is we want to go to our local folder uh, that has Mortal Kombat, which is inside your Steam folder. It would be Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat 12, Content, Packs. And inside you'll see a bunch of packs and SIGs and all the rest of those files. These are the files that make up the game. And we're going to view them with a special Unreal Viewer. Go back to your desktop or wherever you downloaded the file I told you to download. And you want to open up the resource folder and then you'll see two zips inside here. You want to extract, open up the first one that says U Model ACL2. And you want to drag the contents into your Mortal Kombat local folder. Now I already have them here so I'm getting this error but when you guys do it you won't have that problem. So you want to close that first one and we're going to go back into the resource folder and you want to open up the one that says uh, UM model win 32 
and you want to copy these two DILs or DLL files and put them inside there. Honestly, I just highlighted the whole folder and dragged everything in there just in case. And it's going to say the same thing. Do you want to overwrite? Because I already have it in there. But if, when you put it in there, you won't get this error. So I'm just going to move and replace so it's fresh and clean when you guys do it too. Now, we're going to close the zip and we're going to leave the resource folder on the side. Absolutely no. Now that we're here in the resource folder, I want you to open this folder to say AES, select the string of numbers, and cut. Now close it. Hold on to that and don't copy anything else. We need that number. So once you have everything inside here, I'm just going to group everything by type so it's like nice and easy to find. And we're going to go to the one that says, we're going to go in here and we're going to click on the folder, the folder, the application that says UModel ACL 2.1 EXE. Okay, now that it's here, we are already inside this location so we don't need to set the address. You want to click the box that says Override Game Detection. On the first drop menu, you want to select Unreal Engine 4. On the second one, you want to scroll down until you see Mortal Kombat 1. Right here. Now, before we click anything else, we need to uncheck the box that says Morph Targets because um, it does not like, it's the same as Street Fighter. Uh, the face morphs are not bone animations, but uh, like, I guess I would call it like blender, like blender morphs or slider keys, shape keys. They're like that. So that's installed inside the data somewhere else that is not supported through the typical animation extraction. So if you're trying to go get the, the animation of the mouse, that there are facial bones, but you can't get those uh, lip sync bones morphs like we did in the previous Mortal Kombat extraction stuff. So sorry about that. That's just how it rolls. All right. So now that we have that box unchecked, we need to change the platform from auto to PC. And then you want to hit OK. Wait for it to roll and scan the files and do its thing. And we should be prompted with something. There we go. Now it's asking for um, an encryption key. You just need to copy, uh, right click and paste the key that we had got from the folder just now and hit OK. And wait for it to go. OK, so we're here now. Um, you can look at the files if you want to, but we're just going to go through it for the sake of going through it and keeping this tutorial short. So to find the characters, you need to go here to the game file, scroll down to where it says disk, and then you have char, care, I guess is the word, and then you have all the characters that you want. Now you can look at every single one and just like the previous Mortal Kombat, the bodies and the head and the hair are all separate. So you will need to extract them all and, to, and assemble them if you want to put the model together. Um, we are not going to do that. We're going to bulk export everything at once and not have to do like one at a time. So what we do is, uh, for example, I'm using Katana. I would have used Quan Chi, but to be honest with you, I ain't feeling this new Quan Chi. How dare they change voice actors? Dude sounds weak as F. Alright, anyway, so um, go to Katana or whoever you want. And you want to right click on it and you want to do export folder content. And it's going to ask you a bunch of things to check. We pretty much need to leave everything as is. We're going to use this PSK and static masters PSK. I changed my texture format to PNG so I can look at it without having to go through any special software. And then we're just going to hit OK. Now it's just going to extract everything that is in these folders and that's going to take a good while. Um, but not as long as you would think. So we're just going to let it go and do what it has to do to get those assets to you. Probably would have helped if I would have saved the address as to where it was saving. But I'm not going to make you guys sit and wait for this. Um, but I'll come back. I'll pause it, come back, and then we'll, you know, go on from there. Mm. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm back. Okay, so it exported all 3,246 objects in 162 seconds and two some change <laughs> okay so we have it done and I just looked at it and it does export to wherever you have the program in so it will export here 
inside of my Mortal Kombat's pack folder. I don't say file. <laughs> it sounds like I'm the accent. That folder. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put it right here inside of the file, and it will see. Um, it will say um, M U model export, so you know which folder is in. Nice and organized this program. I love it. So we're gonna go inside here. I'm gonna look through where we have it. So this game disc character Melina. Oh yeah. Whoops. I had it saved inside my Melina one. So I gotta go in here. Game disc chair. So when you do it, it will be nice. And it, <laughs> it won't be there. So here's what we want. We want Katana. So I'm just gonna take her out of Melina's shadow and put her in the front like ooh, there we go paste okay so we have our katana folder and you see we have all the files that was inside there the animation the face facial stuff um which is weird because it said that like the the board i was on said that it didn't have facial animations but these are face animations huh so I guess I'll have to look at that, like, you know, when we go over to Blender. All right, so let's, speaking of Blender, let's skadoot on over. So the first thing we need to do is want to grab some meshes. And I want to start with her head because that one has all the, the bones. It has more bones on it. The skeleton has more bones on it than just the standard body. So I want to grab that one first, and this is what we're going to work for. It's in .psk, so you will have to click on the link I provided in the description and get the PSK uh, plugin for Blender. But alternately, if you have Noasis or Gnosis, uh, you can view them in there and then convert them to any other format you want. But I didn't test that. I just know that that's usually how that works. I'm just going to use some closer, so I don't need that either. I'm just going to use the PSK plugin. So with the PSK plugin, uh, you it works on a system where you have to have the model first and then the animation. You can't just up load a PSA it's like hey there's no skeleton for these animations to go to you need to put the mesh in first so that's what we are going to have to do give me a sec computer's running a little slow today running really slow today what's up with you computer thank you darling all right, so first thing first, we're going to bring in some meshes. So we're going to go to File, Import, PSK, PSK, there, there it is. Import the address, and then we got her katana face. This is going to be our master skeleton. And we're going to start bringing in other stuff. So next thing, Import, do it again. PSK. I can never see where the PSK is. Mike, I'm so blind. So we got that. Um, hair, because who wants a bulk katana? Mesh, and we have the hair. And we're going to select the hair and then go over here where the little wrench icon is. Just the modifier. And we're going to change it from her, her skeleton from katana hair to katana face and that's going to put it all on the same skeleton although i guess i should have there we go hide the skeleton so we only got one here um let's import more stuff oh i think she's bald again <laughs> all right hold on let me see face hair i'm gonna press the m key and create a new scene and throw her bones over here and then turn it off. There we go. All right, so next, let's go back and bring in some more stuff. So PSK. Sorry. And then um, which one is her body? Skin is her clothes and her costumes. Then you want to go to mesh and you want katana skin A. Wait for that to come in. Okay, dokie. That's her bodies. This is her face skeleton. This is her skin skeleton. I'm going to press the M key again. And I'm going to move herself over to this collection so it stays hidden. There we go. Then we select the mesh. And we do the same thing. Put it on the face. So now we have... 
our katana in here with hair, face, and the clothes. We just need to turn on her animations and bring those guys in. So it's very important when working with the PSA and PSK that you select the bones when you're importing your PSA or your animation files. So with her bones selected, we want to go to File, Import, and then select PMA, PSA this time. And we're going to just navigate to the folder that has her animations, which is this one that says Anim. And then you see all of her animations and stuff that's right here. Attack, Special, Brutality, Victory, Special. What's special? Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's try her, her intro. Character select. Let's see how this is. So I'm just going to select all of them. Because you can import multiple PSAs at one time. And we're going to wait. So your blender may freeze or may appear frozen. But give it a second. I'm going to press play. And it's horribly slow when it plays through. So I'm going to do something to speed it up. So he said that you would go, click on the little TV, which is your render properties, and you want to slow scroll down until you see simplify, and you want to turn click the box, and you want to turn the mech subdivision down to zero and the child thingy magic to zero. Um, then no 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 high resolution smoke we don't need that. And then when you go down to the bottom toolbar where it says playback. You want to switch it from no sync to frame drop in. And then you press play, and apparently it moves a little bit faster. Um, my computer is not very happy right now because I'm streaming and doing a whole bunch of other stuff that's going on. So it's like, nah, because this is as fast as you go. Okay, so now we have all the animations here, and I'm sure you want to see which ones do what. So we are going to select the bones, right? And then we're going to go to the top panel where it says animation. And there you'll see all the animation stuff that we need to change. Well, not really change, but scroll through it. So when you open up the animation tab, it's like automatically in dope sheet. You want to change it from dope sheet to action, ele action editor. Then scroll on over and then here's the edit tool. And these are all the animations that we have here. Although it's weird because I think these are Melina's animations. Yeah, these are Melina's. Whoops. Well, they're sisters. They can share animations. Now, if you want to hide your bones, too, you can just push H, and then you can hide the bones and let it go. I think her fingers are a little janky because these belong to Melina. Do these belong to Melina? I don't know. I didn't actually play this Mortal Kombat, so. But the fact that it's saying Melina and Sai is making me think that, yeah, these might be Melina's. <laughs> So I want to select the skeleton again for her face, um, and we're going to import some more, and something that that belongs to her. So PSA again. Shoot. Where is it anyway? I can't see. Okay, PSA. And let's go to mesh. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's Melina. We are in Melina's folder. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so let's go all the way back to the beginning. And go to Katana, her animations. Oh, this my. I wonder if that was Melina's hair that we have here. All right, let's let's do her her roster animations. Uh, environment. Match begin. Oh, uh, I need this skeleton here. Why is that skeleton moving? Oh, because I didn't select that one. Katana fan. Fan zone. Well, that's not very cool now, is it? Oh, this thing is failing all over the ding dang place. But you see how it works, right? Right. So we're going to try one more time. Something nice. What about a, fat a fatality? <laughs> Alright, so let's try this again. And this is again Melina. Test your might, Melina. Mm. Oh. 
oops, went too far. Katana animations. Fatality. I love that it's like this now because in the previous one, you had to dig. A. Ugh. Like, where'd she go? Okay, so that's a victim skull, skeleton. Just get rid of these guys. Hide away, please, madam. Thank you. So we're going to select this and find her fatality. End game. Uh, Alright, fatality A. Alright, and then we're gonna press H and hide the skeleton, so. Oh. I haven't put in any of the um, props in yet, but we can test that out and see how it looks when it's doing the animation. So um, let's go a little bit further. I mean, the tutorial is pretty much over right now. And you, you got to see, but let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Um, I'm gonna pause. Import. PSA, come on, PSK. All right, so PSK, we have Katana. Let's go out, uh, mesh, Katana skin. Um, props, Katana's fan, mesh, fan. So we have our fan. Oh, um, hmm. I don't know how that's going to work. Before, I was just attaching this to the skeleton. But the fan has its own set of bones and jazz. Hmm. Guess you gotta put it somewhere. Hmm. The animations are definitely there. It's just not animating the fan. Oh, that's sad. Oh, wait. In game fan. Maybe that changes something. Nope. Hmm. Let's see what else. Maybe there's something else in here we can use. Gear? My gear used to be oh, okay, so gear is a fan. Maybe this one can work. Nope, it ain't work either. Oh well, god, sorry, I don't know how to do props, but we at least got body animation, so that's like all the hard stuff done for you. Well, I hope that helped, and you guys can see what you want to do. Now that you have the animations and stuff, it's Javel's Dar. That's pretty much it, right? Right. Okay, so let me try to close properly. <clears throat> and that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys were able to get your projects going and learn something. And oh, I'm so bad at closing. <laughs> All right. That's it for this tutorial. I'm sorry we didn't get props done. I don't know how that's supposed to work. But we got everything else done. So I guess that's a sort of kind of win. You got your meshes and you got your animations. You got to figure out props on your own. 
Um, so that's it for this. Good luck on your projects. Hope this stuff helped you out. And let's see each other again on the next game. And remember, if it did help you out, I'm totally okay with you guys donating. <laughs> Alright, that was a little cheesy, but I mean it. I like donations. More donations mean more games to buy. More games, more assets, all the fun stuff. So yeah, uh, that. Bye, good luck, see you. Mm -hmm.